Hello and welcome to the Soullink Spawner 1.3.0 quick start tutorial video. Alright, so we want to get right into this. I've got a project here uh, with the Gaia scene that I've created. And we want to set up for spawning a couple of different spawns in this scene. So this uh, video uh, assumes that you've already uh, run through either the installation guide or run the tutorial video on the installation. And you also have to have already prepared your scene with your terrain and your player. In this case, I'm just using the FPS controller from Gaia. So if I were to run this, we just see the first person view and I can run around the terrain and it's this little kind of island with a beach around it and a forest alright once the scene is actually prepared it's got a uh, lighting system, a weather system um, and your player character and terrain then you can go ahead and go to tools soul link, spawner Actually, first let's check the integrations and make sure, yes, it does automatically detect Gaia Pro, so I don't have to do that. So we do Soul Link, Spawner, Setup Scene. And we'll see that we get the Soul Link global component here with some links to online help, the Discord channel, and email, email support. And it's already added a Gaia Time and a Gaia Weather components. These are the integrations to synchronize with Spawner. The time system uh, is not editable here. Uh, that's what you'd have to go into the Gaia system itself to edit those parameters. It does add tracking for current day, month, and year. And the weather system. Uh, you can activate these other options for custom temperature, weather effects temperature, wind effects temperature, and elevation effects temperature. These are all bonus um, weather features that Solink provides for you out of the box. Right. Next let's go to the Solink Spawner component and we do not have a database assigned yet so the first thing we want to do is create a new database. You want to be in the folder where you want the database created. I'm just going to be in the root assets folder. I'm going to call this Gaia Demo to match the scene name. Click Create. All right, it's assigned that already, and now we can see that it's got the um, gizmo here showing the spawn radius around where the player is. I'm not going to go through all these features because I want this to be a, a shorter quick start video than in the past. Um, the manual will go into all these other uh, details and I will have other videos in the future that will uh, explain these as well. Uh, we go down to the definitions we can see we already have a, a time of day anytime so we don't need to add one. We do not have a biome and the categories are just default category which is fine for our purposes. So what we want to do is we want to add some biomes and I'm going to do two different kinds of biomes because I want uh, to show off one new feature and also explain the the old feature as well. So I want to just create two biomes. One is going to be the beach area which is uh, all around this sandy beach and then anything above a certain elevation into these uh, grass textures will be considered the forest. Uh, we could actually say only go up to a certain height if we want. Uh, for right now, add a biome. We call this the beach biome. And I only want to do an elevation range for this because I want it to be anywhere above the water line and maybe up to a certain elevation, say maybe up to about here. And then that would constitute the beach. I wouldn't even have to worry about what textures are in here. Uh, but in order to find out what the elevation is here, the simplest way is we will go into the Solink global component and we're going to add the quarry terrain texture 
script and activate scene view. And now we can see, let me move this out of the way. We can see when I move along here, we can see the elevation and the textures. Uh, so right around the beach here is about 25 and about up to here is 33. So we're going to say 25 to 33 elevation. So we'll say use elevation range 25 to 33. Very narrow band, but it's going to encompass this beach area all around the island. So then let's uh, look at, we could technically just say let's make the forest biome anything above 33 elevation, but I want to show off the other feature which is to detect the different textures. In this case we've got texture 1 and texture 5 is, is within this grass area, but texture 5 isn't very much influence. Texture underscore 1 is the main grass texture, so we're just going to go with that. I'm going to add a biome. Call this one forest. And we'll add a texture filter. Oops, I did I did volume filter, sorry. Add filter. Okay, I'm going to select that texture zero. That was it, correct? Hang on. No, it's texture one, sorry. Texture one. And we're going to include anything over a threshold of 0.5, we'll say. All right. Just save that for now. Let's see. Uh, now we want to go to spawns. We'll start with the beach spawns. We'll add that. And then for time of day, we only have any time, so we'll add that. And then add spawn. We're going to use the demo AI that come with Solink under Spawner, Demos, AI. We've got these different colored capsules. For the beach area, I'm going to use this yellow one to kind of match the sandy beach. Make about a 20 population cap. A little bit higher probability. And we're going to do a little bit of scaling so we get different size capsules from 0.5 to 1. All right, let's hide this one. And we're going to add the forest biome. Anytime, time of day, add a spawn. And we'll use the green one. Actually, let's do one other feature here we'll show. We'll make this variance instead of prefab. We'll call this Forest Variety. And we're going to put a green one. And we'll do a blue one as well. And make this a little bit higher population. Maybe 50 in the forest. Also, we'll scale these as well. I think these can be even smaller and maybe not quite as big. All right, so now we have a forest and beach setups. The other thing to note is that I did go in and I baked the navigation mesh. You'll want to bake your navigation mesh in your scene before you uh, start running and spawning. Let's go ahead and see if that worked. There's going to be about a five second delay before things start spawning. I'm not seeing, oh, there we go. Not seeing much in the, okay, I do see some in the the yellow is kind of going a little bit higher than I want it to go. But generally speaking, I think we have what we need. We'll go up into the forest. We shouldn't see any yellow ones up here. Just 
green and blue. Yep. And there we have it. Thank you for watching.